Hi friends, uh, just a quick tip. Uh, I thought you guys might uh, like uh, know. Um, I have uh, this uh, stock, which is uh, we have a automatic bandsaw, and uh, it can't uh, cut all the way to that uh, short, so I have to uh, cut them to a specific length, and uh, this is how I do it. So basically, what I do is I butt the stuck against the end mill itself uh, to um, to locate uh, the stuck then when I press start uh, the machine uh, moves up cut the stuck uh, precisely and then it moves right back where it started so I can um, just remove the freshly cut uh, stock Put the new one and simply press start again and this is a loop an endless loop with an m99 at the end of the code so um, i just press start and it starts again this is very efficient and like you can see here this is how i um, butt the stock against the uh, the end mill itself all right, so uh, I'm going to uh, show you how I set this up. It's uh, pretty easy. Um, first, uh, the setup in uh, Infusion. Um, I put my work offset um, over here. Uh, so this is my uh, zero X, Y, and Z zero. Uh, this is, of course, the stock here. Um, this is pretty much all that's interesting um, in the setup. Um, in my setup, I have a custom uh, manual NC uh, code. I have this um, comment here, remove this line below N20, uh, G53, G0, Z0. I'll explain uh, a bit later. Uh, then I have the only operation which is a cut um, and there's nothing much here to say I have um, uh, I'm cutting along this line um, I'm giving myself tangential extension uh, distance of uh, half an inch before and after the cut um, I'm cutting a hundred thou below and uh, otherwise uh, that's pretty much it um, so uh, this is uh, the move then I have this uh, pass-through code um, which is um, code I uh, manually uh, written and I'll explain it uh, each of these lines a bit later and then one last uh, manual NC, which is a command that says remove all lines below. Okay, uh, so now if I um, uh, post uh, output this, uh, this code, so I'm going to post process here. So this is the code that is generated uh, by Fusion. Um, so here, this is the first uh, command line uh, I, I showed you, which says remove this line below N20, G53, blah, 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 which is this line right here. And what this line does is it takes the spindle uh, right up uh, to the tool change position, which we don't want in this case. So I'm going to remove this line and also uh, the, 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 this uh, generated uh, command. And uh, all of this code is the, uh, the actual uh, cut. Um, we'll come back to that a bit later. And then we have this uh, remove all lines below command. So I can take all of these lines and remove them. What they do is they stop the spindle, stop the coolant, take the spindle all the way up and then uh, move in X and Y and stop completely the, 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 the code, the machine and reset to, uh, to the beginning. And we want 
we don't want any of this so I'm going to remove all these lines and also the comment so delete and this is the code I'm going to use in the machine so let's have a look at it over here um, we uh, choose the tool we start the spindle at 6000 rpm clockwise we set our work offset to G54 uh, we start the coolant and all of this code here is the actual cut um, and then uh, we move this and this this is also generated automatically the spindle moves back up uh, in this case an inch over uh, the stock because the stock is uh, 250 thou uh, so um, and since our uh, work offset is uh, the the bottom of the stock then uh, our spindle our end mill ends up exactly an inch uh, over the stock which clears the vise uh, no problem and then um, this is the the handwritten code uh, which is m5 to stop the spindle m9 to stop the coolant and these uh, three li lines here uh, move the 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 hand the end mill uh, back to the beginnings that uh, which means uh, you know where the, i'm going to butt uh, my um, my stock against um this here is as you can see uh, the end mill is uh, minus one and a half inch you might have to adjust this so that you can butt against the you know where there are no flutes um and then we have a M0 here which stops the CNC and the CNC will now wait for me to push um, on the cycle start to uh, move again and execute uh, these uh, last three lines which is uh, backing off um, the end mill from the stock a little bit move up and then uh, it's ready so back off a bit move up and um, and now it's ready to uh, go and do its cut so we have these this uh, m99 which is basically um, uh, what it does it's it's looping the code so it moves right back to the first line and execute again until it gets to m the the uh, m0 here so uh, this is how it works it's really quite simple i hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this uh, quick tip and hopefully it will be uh, useful to you uh, someday so uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one bye